The greatest mistake we make is living in constant fear that we will make one. John C. Maxwell. Welcome, and I'm so glad that you're here. Here we talk about personal development, relationships, and mental health, just to name a few. My name is Carmen, a registered counsellor who is passionate about coming alongside people. This podcast is designed to create a discussion and bring awareness around what matters most in life, and that includes you. The goal is that each episode will leave you feeling encouraged, equipped, and empowered so you can live your best life. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another episode. How are you? It's so cold here in Sydney. We've recently had a cold snap and I've started to pull out my winter attire. I'm not going to lie, I love the warmer weather. And I know people who love the winter. And this brings me to one, we are all different. And two, how do we make the most of situations that are our second or even third choice. Our outlook might not change the situation as such. In my case, winter is coming whether I like it or not. But it's that sense of showing up anyway, being an active participant and being present. How we do this can be unique to each of us. So in my case, I bought myself some new boots. But beyond my new boots, I'm looking at how can I make winter somewhat more enjoyable. If you have any ideas, I would love to hear them. In this week's episode, we look at fear, both as a vital response and how fear can hinder us. I came across a Psychology Today article that read, Fear is part instinct, part learned, and part taught. So with the fears that are instinctive, such as pain, causes fear because of its implications for survival. Other fears are learned. We learn to be afraid of certain people, places or situations because of negative associations and past experiences. Other fears are taught. Cultural norms often dictate whether something should be feared or not. Eliminating fear would be the equivalent of taking down your home alarm system because it sometimes makes loud and irritating sounds. Fear can be helpful and necessary in certain situations. But what happens when fear holds us back from living life on our terms? Fear can be uncomfortable and crippling. At least 60% of adults admit to having at least one unreasonable fear, although research to date is not clear on why these fears manifest. Being fearless doesn't mean eliminating fear. It means knowing how to leverage and process fear. And here are some thoughts that I'll leave you with. Thought number one, is it fair to say that pretty much everything in life requires a sense of risk. A calculated risk is a risk that you consider is worth taking because of the potential result. It's looking at the outcomes and deciding what is worth choosing. What is the outcome or reward? Thought number two. Confidence and courage are like muscles, and the more we use them, the stronger they get. So rather than having big goals, which I am all for, by the way, but suppose there is a process to getting there. Smaller goals or bite-sized goals can help us build momentum when it comes to feeling fear and choosing action. And thought number three. Our fears can be attached to what we value or what we have experienced and may need to be expressed and validated. A few ways to help this process are journaling, speaking to someone you trust, or a professional counsellor. On a finishing note, how can we appreciate fear for its function in our lives, 
and on the other hand, how can we navigate it so it doesn't hinder or paralyze us? So what is your takeaway from this episode? If you are new to the podcast, have questions around fear and ways to navigate it, or counselling in general, I offer free 15-minute phone consultations. So do get in touch. Before we part ways, I'd like to wish you a great week ahead. And until next time, take care. So that's it for today's episode. As always, I'm grateful for the opportunity to come alongside you. If you know someone who might benefit from hearing this episode, why not share it with them? And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss an episode. For more content or to learn about the services I provide, head over to carmendebono.com.au and I look forward to coming alongside you again next Wednesday.